Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Chew. I'm Robert Wallace. This is the place where we ask, are we choosing the way of Jesus, or are we choosing our own way? Today, we're looking at fasting prayer. Fasting is linked in the Bible to a few things, and prayer is one of them. The spiritual discipline may be from unfamiliar to some of you, and for others, it may be something you've long forgotten about and ask, are we still fasting? Do we still need to fast? Well, let's look briefly at God's Word today and see what God has to say about fasting, and we will see and hear His answer together. In the Old Testament, we'll read about fasting done in times of mourning and repentance, both individually and nationally with the children of Israel as a nation they would fast and pray. I have four references for you to look up. Leviticus chapter 16, verses 29 through 31. 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 6. Nehemiah chapter 1, verses 4 through 11. And then Esther chapter 4. Then in the New Testament, we read that Jesus began his ministry with a 40-day fasting and prayer time in the wilderness. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Then we'll read in Acts chapter 12 or 13, verses 2 and 3, that they worshiped and fasted in prayer. Uh, many Christians that I know understand that the Lenten season is a time of fasting. This is we as we prepare for Easter. The whole point is to remind ourselves of everything that Jesus gave up, including his own life, for us. What's the purpose of fasting? The purpose of fasting is to focus on God and not ourselves. This is a time to be one with God, setting aside our physical hunger and to receive the spiritual nourishment that God has for us. After Jesus had finished his conversation with the woman at the well, you'll remember that parable, the woman at the well, and the, the Samaritan woman, the disciples had gone into the village while Jesus was waiting at the well, unaware that he'd had a conversation with this lady until they returned. Well, when they returned, they offered him something to eat and encouraged him to eat. And Jesus responded, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. Luke chapter 4, verse 32. You know, when we get hungry and we're fasting, we should turn to God for his nourishment. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Then Jesus wrote this in Matthew chapter 6, verses 16 through 18. Don't miss the first three words here. Are you ready? When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others they are fasting. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, Put oil on your head and wash your face so that you will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen. And your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Here's my couple of questions. What do we think fasting is about and is fasting according to God's word? Are we willing to fast and pray? In other words, are we willing to follow the way of Jesus that leads to life and life in the full, or are we going to choose our own way? Now I'm praying for us today as we go through and explore these passages and consider the questions that are asked today, that we'll invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from His Word that we will have receptive hearts and minds to receive these truths, and then that we'll have an opportunity to step out in faith 
with the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do what the Holy Spirit tells us to do. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.